over there. Yeah. I mean, you really, most folks try to avoid it. Right. Nice day today. Warm again yeah. today. It's, we've had the same pattern for days now where mm -hmm. we have uh, the drizzly gray mornings and then very warm temperatures through the afternoon. Uh, no exception to that today at all. Live look outside right now. Really pretty sunset. And so if you snap a picture of this, make sure to send us a copy. We'd love to see it. Whether at KXAN.com, you can email it to us there. Uh, we're going to see these clouds, though, hanging on through the rest of the evening and even through the overnight hour. Pattern not changing really until tomorrow afternoon. Right now, 78 degrees, uh, overcast skies by 8 p.m. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies, 71, and then dipping into the upper 60s by around 10 p.m. tonight. Current temperatures are still on the warm side. It's going to be a very pleasant evening temperature-wise. 77 in Lano, 74 in Burnett, 79 in Georgetown, upper 70s all along our eastern counties, and even south towards San Marcos, 75 degrees there as well. We're in the upper 70s here in town. Cloudy skies, both locations out at Camp Mabry and the airport. Dew points, upper 50s, low 60s. We've seen these dew points since yesterday, uh, so that moisture is still intact. And our humidity, anywhere between 50 and 56 percent right now. Current winds have been breezy all day long. That south southeasterly flow between about 10 15 miles an hour for much of the day. It's dropped a bit out of Camp Mabry now, but still breezy out at the airport. These winds will slowly start to fall off as we go through the overnight hours, right around 5 to 10 miles an hour by early tomorrow morning. Now, satellite radar shows that we've had that cloud cover pretty much all day long. You can barely see it on this radar, but it's the lighter gray stretched right across uh, portions of the state. Out to our west, that brighter white is building cloud cover right along a cold front that's going to be making our way into Texas uh, by Monday, right around midday here in the Austin area. That system is located over western Iowa, stretching all the way back through the panhandle right now. And not rain really associated with it. Our conditions are, have just small chances for rain as we go through the day tomorrow as this front moves through. We're going to keep it only about 10 to 20 percent for most of us. So let's go hour by hour through our forecast. Overnight tonight, the cloud cover sticks around some of that early morning drizzle, maybe a little patchy fog possible, and most likely you'll just see some spotty drizzle with that, especially as that front moves closer. Chance for rain through the afternoon hours right around 20 percent along our eastern counties as that front moves further through. Winds turn around from the north, so as we go through your Tuesday, we're actually going to see a little bit cooler conditions out there. Temperatures closer to normal for this time of year in the morning and even through the afternoon hours, but by Wednesday, our same pattern we've been seeing for a couple more days kicks right back in. Temperatures back into the 70s by the middle of this week. Now tonight, here's what you can expect. Temperatures dipping into the upper 50s. We're going to go a couple degrees warmer than this in the Hill Country tonight. Upper 50s there right around 60 to the low 60s in the metro and eastern counties for tomorrow. Temperatures again are going to hit the 70s before this front moves through. After it does, that's when we see that slightly cooler, slightly drier air move in affecting our temperatures for Tuesday. Now tonight, 62 here in Austin for tomorrow. Winds shift from the south to the northeast, moving that front through the Austin area right around midday. 76 your high. And then on Tuesday, look at where we start out. 48 degrees, 66 in the afternoon. It's going to be very comfortable that day, if a little little bit cooler, but with the pattern returning um, with more moisture and uh, that southerly flow by Wednesday, small chances for rain developed then. Another cold front set to move in late Thursday will bring us a 30% chance for showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms and warmer temperatures, just dropping us just slightly cooler as we head into next week.